Thank you, Margie. Colder days making their way in, which could mean more people are staying in. Staying in can be good, but the change in the weather can also have an impact on our mental health. Here to share some tips on how to cope with the winter blues is Dr. Rachel Glick. Good morning, Dr. Glick. Good morning. Thank you for being here with us. This is something that affects a lot of people. So how do the changing seasons impact our mental health? For a lot of people notice more milder symptoms of feeling a little more lethargic, a little less motivated, desire to eat carbs, kind of want to isolate, um, and a little hard getting going. But for some, it can get more, more closer to a major depressive disorder where they really start feeling irritability, low mood, low self-esteem, mm -hmm. despair. And so for that, there's more, more intervention that might need to be. How many people does this affect? They say 5% of the population, which is about 10 million Americans. Mm -hmm. And it's SAD. What does SAD stand for? Uh, seasonal Affective Disorder. So how can we try to get out when it's so cold and try to get that motivation or maybe get back to our good eating habits during times like this when it's just cold? Yes, exactly. Well, it, first it's to accept oneself and let yourself lean into cozying in a bit because it is natural. At the same time, being careful not to go too far with it. And Phil, Phil Stutz has a wonderful life force pyramid that I like. And it starts with the body at the bottom of the pyramid. And when we start with taking care of our body, 85% of our well-being starts to um, kind of unfold. Everything falls into place after that. So that's just going, getting to the basics, making sure your sleep and your nutrition mm -hmm. and you're moving your body. And I like it, uh, to encourage people to get outside. And we know this, but it can be really hard to actually prioritize getting back to the basics. The basics, you mentioned the body, the mental health being taken care of. Even though it's so cold outside, is it a good idea to bundle up maybe and go for a 10 minute walk, just get yourself moving around so you're not just secluded to that one area? This is one of my favorite subjects, so thanks for bringing that up. I always say there's no bad weather, there's only bad gear. Ah, very So just get yourself the right gear and fresh air, being outside, seeing the trees. Nature has a very positive impact on mental health and it gives us perspective. Mm -hmm. When we start to build on these little things that you just mentioned, do you think that gets us up to that full ability to get back mentally and get through these tough times? Yes, because once we start feeling good inside, mm -hmm. then we feel more motivated to take the next, like a next strand of pearl and the strand to take the next step. Mm -hmm. And so the other thing that's recommended is to not isolate. Mm -hmm. Maybe enjoy some time to rejuvenate with some me time, but. Make sure that you're connecting with people, grow the relationship, get more vulnerable, be, be giving. That also connects us to our life force. Baby steps. Just yes. One at a time and you get right back to where you need to be when the sun's up and shining or ready to go. Exactly. Where can people read your blog? Oh, I have a website. Okay, where's your website? Uh, DrRachelGlick.com. Go to that website. She's got blogs for you that'll give you all the information you need to know about topics like this. Dr. Glick, thank you for being here with My us. My pleasure. We're gonna go ahead and get things over to Margie. Margie. Uh